Dr. Heavenly, hold your hand out. Dr. Heavenly, hold your hand out. You gonna get a spanking. Hey guys, what's going on? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Q. Before we begin the video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Again, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell so that you guys can check all of my videos that are coming out. That way you guys can be tuned in for the next video that's coming out. And before I start, make sure you guys follow me on my social medias at Quentin G. Harry. That's everywhere on all social media sites. I'm not going to take up too much of your time. We're going to dive right into it. I know I'm a little late, but I actually stayed up late watching it. So I tried to get up early this morning to record it. But uh, yeah, that didn't happen. I ended up waking up a little bit later. So we're going to jump into this Mary to Medicine reunion. First of all, let me just say this about Mary to Medicine. Mary to Medicine on Bravo is giving housewives a run for their money. Not only um, are they bringing the fashions, they're bringing the business. They're bringing family. They're bringing looks. Mary to Medicine is not playing with uh, with these girls here in Atlanta, and I'm here for it because I feel I honestly feel like the girls of um, Real Housewives of Atlanta not necessarily got lazy, but it's just not as, it's not what it used to be. You feel what I'm saying? So. Mary to Medicine, let's jump right into it. First of all, let's get into the set of Mary to Medicine. I loved, love, 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 love the set that they had on Mary to Medicine. One, it was different. Two, it was creative. Three, it was fashionable. And it represented the girls. Um, I loved it. I loved it. I, I, don't, I can't complain about the set. Um, not one bit. Honestly, the whole reunion, I'll give it... <sighs> I would say an eight and a half out of ten. I'll give it a nine out of ten. Um, hmm. Let me see how what I'm going to say first. Let's jump into the fashion first. Who looked the best? Surprisingly to me, because I'm really not. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna say I'm not a fan of her. She's just just not my top choice on the show. I like her for the show, but she's not my top choice. I'm going to give it to. Oh, gosh, I feel bad for about to say this. I'm going to give it to Mariah. Mariah got best dress for the reunion. Mariah looked incredible. She was sitting very poised and poshed. Um, her hair was laid to the gods. Um, her makeup was incredible. I think the pink stood out. I think they had a theme. I can't remember exactly what the theme was. Was I know it remind it uh, um, the it remind it started with a B. I can't remember what the thing was, but anyway, Mariah gets best dress. Second runner up after that. Um, I'm not saying this because I'm because I'm because I'm cool with them, but next runner up for me would have to be Heavenly or Quad. I love Heavenly's outfit. I did not like uh, my auntie's hair. Because I've seen her in better hair. I think I like the gold gold look on her. That's just my opinion. Um, what is this on my shirt? But, okay, so maybe she looked great to y'all. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know how y'all felt about Heavenly's hair. I personally love Heavenly's hair. I mean, her outfit. I loved her shoes. I just didn't, too, I didn't care for the hair that much. Only because I love seeing her in gold with that blonde hair. So, I love that. Um, I also do not, I did not, I didn't like, I like Quad's hair. I think her makeup was just a little bit too dark. I think she should have stuck with the makeup artist that she uses for Sister Circle. That's just my opinion. Just cues a pin, but I love Quad. She looked amazing. I love the jumpsuit on her. Um, yeah, let me see who I did not like. I did not like Contessa's look. I don't know why Contessa just never does it for me visually like i like to see contessa come in the room because i know she's gonna come in there she's gonna have an opinion she's going to look great i like contessa's regular season look versus her reunion looks but my, i don't for, for the most part contessa always just be giving me like confused i did not like her makeup i think the lashes was way too much it was just like 
I did not like the lashes at all. I did not like her hair. I did not like her dress. And I feel like her lip was too bold. This is just my opinion. Um, let me see what outfit I did not like. I did not like uh, Dr. Simone. Dr. Simone, no. The hair look gave me, gave, gave me real secretary tease. The jumpsuit was just very, mm, it's, it's a reunion. Like, I just didn't like it. See, but Quad's jumpsuit was different from um, Dr. Simone's. It, it just gave me levels. I don't know. I just did not like Dr. Simone's look at all. And I felt like, um, what's the other girl's name? Um... Toya, Toya just gave us regular Toya. Toya's a pretty girl. I feel like she doesn't really have to try hard. So Toya was kind of real, played it safe. And I didn't like Buffy's look. I like Buffy's hair, I didn't like her look. Um, I don't like, my opinion, I don't like the girls and big fluffy and all that kind of carrying on. I don't like it. So let's jump down into what happened last night. So we're first gonna jump into Dr. Simone came, oh. Simone and Simone and Quad, um, Simone and Quad came out the gate swinging. Like it's like okay, we're just gonna jump on. We're gonna go ahead and do this. It was kind of like the the couch with Quad, um, Quad and Heavenly and oh, Dr. Jackie. Oh my goodness. Um, I like Dr. Jackie's look. She played it safe. I mean, I really don't expect too much from Dr. Jackie. I really don't expect her to be like, oh my gosh, she came out sexy and boobs out. But Dr. Jackie's a naturally pretty. Oh, they, they was coming for Dr. Jackie. They was coming for Dr. Jackie real hard. And they was coming for they was coming for Heavenly real hard. But um I do like the fact that Heavenly, Heavenly always gonna hold her own. That's just my opinion. Heavenly is going to forever hold her own. Um, she don't need no two or three people, but I do feel like they was getting her. Like I felt like they they pre-planning their head. Like okay, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna do this. But um, I definitely feel like I feel like Heavenly held her own. But we're gonna jump into it person by person. All right, Heavenly told Toya shut up. Oh Lord, um, Heavenly versus Toya. Can we get down to the root of Heavenly versus Toya? I just don't think that Toya's here for all the the comments and things that Heavenly has said. But Toya has said things about Dr. Heavenly too. Let's not forget. That it's not like Dr. Heavenly's walking around being mean or any of those things like that. No. Dr. Heavenly um, told Toya to shut up soon as soon as soon as soon as the reunion got started. And he couldn't even get stuff out his um out his mouth good without introducing everybody before Heavenly and Toya wanted a piece of each other. Um, so yeah. Toya versus Contessa. Toya versus Contessa. Now I have to say this. Contessa, they got you. It was I can't remember exactly what screenshot it was, or it was some type of flashback. It was something that they played and they asked you a question. It was you versus Toya. It was Contessa versus Toya. And Toya. <laughs> What, I forgot what was happening, but y'all know y'all always get caught when they do the flashback clips. Like when they do them, um, the, the clips from, 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 from in the previous, in the, in the season. So yeah, uh, Contessa, so I felt like you were losing as soon as the reunion started. Uh, Contessa, they definitely uh, got you. That was, that was yeah, it, really, it, it didn't look good because it, it painted you out to, to look like a liar. Uh, Toya versus Heavenly. Do y'all think that Heavenly is jealous of Toya? Because they kept bantering all night. Toya's young, she's beautiful, she's pretty. Um, she married well. Mm, we really haven't had any like scandal, scandal stuff with Toya and her husband. Now, granted, Toya's young, she's pretty, all the other stuff. Let's not sleep on Dr. Heavenly. Dr. Heavenly is very successful. And what I call Dr. Heavenly, I call people like her, I call that old money. Dr. Heavenly is not trying to, out here trying to compete with these girls. She don't need the TV show. I think she enjoys it because it just brung a relevance to her name. But at the end of the day, I don't think that Dr. Heavenly needs this. So I, I'm asking you guys just to start a conversation. I'm not, I don't. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I definitely feel... Well, not feel. I'm asking you guys. Do you guys feel like Toya... I mean, Dr. Heavily is jealous of Toya. Another thing. Dr. Jackie plugging her book, y'all. So I took notes on the show, of course. So I just kind of wrote down and highlighted some of the things. This is part one. Um, 
they asked Dr. Jackie, how does she feel about a vagina or something like that? And Dr. Jackie was like, um, you can read my book. You can. <laughs> I just love that because there's something that I would do. I'm squinting y'all because the sun is coming out and it's like, boom, right here in my face. But anywho, um, Dr. Jackie plugging her, plugging her book, the entire, the, 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 the entire show basically. But when, when, when they asked him, uh, Dr. Jackie, the question, it was funny because the only thing that she could say was, um, you can read my book. So y'all make sure y'all go get Dr. Jackie book. I just felt like that was good TV. Like, listen, you're going to be on TV, plug it, honey, plug it. Cause I'm about to be doing the same thing. Every time them cameras come on, baby, it's going to be something about the book or anything like that. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Andy got heavily together. Andy was, uh, heavily, uh, I, I feel like Heavenly was irritating Andy the whole reunion. I don't know if it's because Heavenly was talking too much or I don't know what was going on, but you could definitely feel some type of irritation from Andy towards Heavenly. But I do like the stance that Heavenly took. Heavenly was like, okay, you know what? That's cool. Like, I feel like she like, okay, this is my boss and I'm not finna lose these coins playing with you girls. So I do like the fact that that Heavenly was, um, she was okay with Andy getting her together. Buffy versus Dr. Jackie. Let's get into this whole Buffy and Dr. Jackie situation. Whew. Let's just say, okay, I can't say that. But what I will say is Dr. Jackie is better than me because, baby, I would apologize one time. No, okay, let me not say that because I know it's a very touchy subject. And I'm not in a position where where I know woman parts or anything like that. So let me try to be sensitive about it. Um, Dr. Jackie was, for, was, was wrong for putting it out during the speech that she gave. She was wrong for putting it out. However, she apologized to Jack. Uh, she apologized to Buffy. Not once, not twice, not three times. We've seen it like three or four times on the show ourselves. I'm sure, just like how when they, they panned the camera off last night to, to, um, to, when it was time to go to commercial, you see Dr. Jackie apologizing to him, uh, to, you see Dr. Jackie apologizing to Buffy again. I just, mm. Jackie apologized to this woman, too. I'm not going to say too many times because I guess when you offend somebody, you do it as much as you can. Listen, let me tell you about me. Baby, you get one or two times, I'm going to be like, oh, my gosh, I do apologize. That was not my heart. That was not my intent. You're going to get about one or two of those before. I'm going to give you what Jackie gave her at that table. It's finished. I'm over it. And I say that because it's kind of like, okay, I made a mistake, but don't continue to sit there and just continue to drag me, drag me, drag me, drag me, drag me. Especially from Dr. Jackie. Now, if you get it from a helper like Dr. Heavenly, Qua, or Mariah, because I know they, they like to be a little, mm -mm -mm -mm, like a little catty. But for the most part, come on, y'all. Y'all know Dr. Jackie. She not, she not really trying to do all of that. So, I mean, unless you give it to her first. But I just think where her and Buffy was, um, yeah, it couldn't have been me. I just, I'll leave it at that. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know how y'all feel about it. But I just feel like the whole situation between Buffy and Dr. Jackie was, was Dr. Jackie was, was drug out. I do like the fact that Buffy came along this season and held her own though. Like, because you know how when you are, when you a new cast member, you coming on to a new show, it's kind of like you got that friend, had that friend, I was trying to stick up for you, none of that. Dr. 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 Buff, uh, Dr. Dr. Buffy. Buffy came on to this season, um, where her held high and them titties was up, baby. The titties was up. <laughs> the titties was up. I do, I, 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 I respect Buffy. I respect Buffy. But at the same time, um, yeah, she wouldn't got that many passes from me. Uh, 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 Buffy and Dr. Heavily talking. <laughs> Buffy and Dr. Heavily started fussing. They started going at it. They started doing their own little one, two, one, two. Dr. Heavily, hold your hand out. Dr. Heavily, hold your hand out. You're going to get a spanking. Oh my gosh, y'all. Dr. Heavily cracks me the heck up. When she told Buffy, girl, Something about you sitting on that fat ass because Buffy had tried to comfort Heavenly and she was just like, Yeah, you talking through them dentures. And Dr. Heavenly was like, Girl, you talking through that fat ass of yours. Oh. <laughs> I think Dr. Heavenly thought she was back in freaking Florida somewhere. And I felt like 
I felt like she was just ready to holler at your mama and ready to shoot Buffy with the hands. But if you remember Dr. Heavily's review, she goes and she says how, you know, she didn't apologize, but she did say that she felt bad for calling Buffy fat and all those other things. Because watching the show, uh, Buffy does not look healthy. And I'm not talking about physically, I mean mentally. Like, I feel like when she did the scene where she was like really crying, like really drastically behind that, sometimes I feel like reality TV is not built for everybody. Reality TV is not built for everybody. That's just how I feel. That's just my opinion about it. Um, I like Buffy for the show. But, um, yeah. I like the mix-up. I do like the mix-up. I'm not going to lie. I like the mix-up. But what I don't like is for a person to get so emotional that they cannot process or they can't be in the moment or they can't deal with things. Because... The uh, reality TV is a lot, and it will take you out of here if you allow it to. But if you allow it to, but you cannot allow it to. And I feel like Buffy was about to be... Um, I'm glad she got some strong people in her corner because I don't feel like that she was having a good moment. Um, Buffy and Dr. Heavily, Heavily calling Buffy fat, I feel like that was funny. Even Andy was like, did you just call her fat? Like, girl, like, we are not in high school. You cannot be sitting up here throwing that kind of stuff. But it was funny. Um... I thought it was funny. Um, shout out to Buffy, though, because she did announce um, her surrogate with her husband. I, I commend you, Buffy. I feel like that's great. I feel like it's, it's it takes a woman to see her shortcomings on an international platform. And you turn that around and say, you know what? I wanted to carry my own child. I, I, I'm on this platform. I see all these things. Let me just go another route. Let me consider something else to, to, to please myself, to please my family. Now, please, it's not about pleasing fans because no. But I just respect the fact that you announced it and um, I'm happy for you because all the women were happy for you. Um, yeah, maybe a baby will, you know, do you some justice. I feel like it would, you know, bring her and her husband closer because he actually does want a baby. So, those are just my opinions on that. That was part one. Part one, y'all gave me everything I needed. I cannot complain at all. Um, the fashions look great, even though I didn't agree with everybody's fashions. Um, everybody still looked great. The set looked great. Andy looked great. Andy always does an amazing job. And me, being a host, I look at some of the things that Andy um, some of his mannerisms and stuff, and I, I love to see him in his element. Oh, let's move on to part two of the reunion. Heavily put out Simone. Hold on. Oh, yeah. So, Heavily and Simone started bantering back and forth. They started, like, going back and forth. So, Heavily says, y y um... You, you, it's some stuff that I can put out there on you. And so basically what Heavenly was saying was she has something held over Simone's head. So um, me and the rest of the world and the rest of the people who watch Married Medicine, we want to know what the hell you're talking about, Dr. Heavenly. Um, yeah, Simone, Dr. Simone and Heavenly was bantering back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for a long time to the point where Simone calls Heavenly... Um, Biggie, Biggie, what? A big. They was going back and forth for. I don't even know what he, what my own notes even said, child. But Dr. Heavenly and Simone was bantering back and forth. Um, they got into it in the in the back room when they was watching the husbands on the scene or whatever like that. And Dr. Simone yells out and was like, "Girl, Damon been out with my husband getting drunk." Da 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 da. And so you can see that Dr. Simone is very passionate and she's very hurt behind uh, well, Dr. Heavenly and Dr. Jackie. So let's move on to Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone. Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone were like besties. And they always said that we're not going to allow this show to get in between our friendship and what we're seasons down the line. And that's exactly what happened. I am glad to see that the women could come to a common ground. I like that. I like that. I like that. Um, I'm not the biggest Simone fan, but I do like, I don't like to see friends fighting, especially over reality TV and stuff like that, because I know how it is to be 
um, on that screen behind that camera and then you have a genuine friendship with somebody and it goes left because of the comments of other people or the actions of another castmate. So I don't like to see that happen. So I am glad um, to see Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone mend the relationship. Now let's jump on to another situation. They didn't they didn't really tag in quite, I, I guess it was so much going on between Heavenly and Simone and Toya that I just feel like Mariah and Quad and Contessa was pretty much left out of the entire reunion until the end. Quad versus Mariah. Mm -mm -mm. So Quad and Mariah were another two set of friends who were just besties and all this other kind of care. No, I love Quad. Um, I don't really know Mariah like that personally. I've seen her out. Uh, I'm not a fan of her on the show, but I know how that can go as well. Um, y'all let me know how y'all feel about Quad and Mariah because how I feel is it's drug out, it's too long. None of the girls from the cast believe them about the freaking um drugs, and none of the cast believe this whole situation with Mariah's sister with Late and his husband. It's just it's just too much, it's too many allegations out, it's just too much going on that. One, everybody just don't even believe no more. Nobody don't even care. Like, we found out Mariah did drugs, she did coke, if she's sniffing, whatever. I think at this point, we just like, we don't care now because it's, it's drawn out. Like, when you tell us some tea or some news, we want the tea and the news right then. We want to follow up. We want some 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 receipts. I don't want to wait five and six years. We're like, why are we still talking about this? I don't care. Um, I love Qua, but I really want her to let that stuff go with Mariah. Just don't speak to her. I know they, they, I mean, they, they, they can coexist, but just, just leave it alone. Like, it's just drawn out for, for no reason. Um, did y'all, did you guys see when Quad was, was, was crying behind the things that the husbands had to say about her ex-husband? That made me emotional because I know how it is to be in a light with somebody and you guys are no longer on good terms, but you still care about that person. And so to hear that this person ask about you or whatever, 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 um, I can say that I can, um... Excuse me. I can I can feel her. I feel her with that. I feel her, and you can quad. You can tell quad genuinely loved her husband. So, um, those are my opinions about that. Oh, when quad told Mariah that she was gonna get that polygraph, uh, Mariah was shook. Mariah ain't say nothing. The girls was just like, oh, girl, she not playing with you. And I love the fact that Quad did that because you would call a person out on a bluff. And that's exactly what she did. She called Mariah out on her bluff and was like, girl, we could take a test. What's up? Now, Quad, when you told that girl what's up, you stepped right out of TV mode and you got right in the streets. That was so funny to me to see Quad say some stuff like, we, I could take a polygraph. What's up? Because I know Quad. So to see her in that light was funny to me. But it was a little scary, but it was funny because I don't know that side of Kwa, but I do think it was funny. Uh, okay, so Kwa and Mariah. Yeah, Kwa and Mariah, I just want them to talk it out. Did y'all see that Lisa Nicole Cloud had a little chimed in and said something to Kwa? Oh, 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 girl, when you no longer a part of the show and you got the tweet, I know some of those. So then the guys came up. Um, the guys, um, we don't we never really care about what the husbands are talking about. We want to focus on the women. So um, shout out to the women. I mean, yeah, no, yeah, shout out. I mean, no, shout out to the husbands. That's what I'm going to say. Shout out to the husbands. We don't really care. Uh, they all look great. Um, Mariah's husbands look like Mariah's husband. Um, I feel like Toya versus Eugene the best. Um, Eugene, he don't, Eugene don't even care. He just be like, hey, I'm here. My wife want to be here, whatever. Uh, Contessa's husband, he's handsome. But, I mean, he never really gave me, like, a fashion statement. Am I missing anybody's husband? I don't want to miss somebody's husband. Oh, Dr. Jackie. Um, child, Curtis ain't studying it. Just like Dr. Jackie ain't studying it. They like, child, we're trying to get this little corn and go into the house. All right, guys, y'all drop down in the comments. Tell me how y'all feel about this review. I know I haven't did any reviews like I said I was going to. So, I decided to do Married to Medicine because I watched it last night and I was entertained by it. So, I made a video. Y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling, what y'all want to see next. I do have more content coming out. It's the day before the new year, guys. So, um, yeah, make sure we're putting out them New Year's resolution. Make sure that you guys are staying positive. And uh, let's turn those dreams into a reality because dreams are real, guys. Y'all keep it locked. Is she boy cute?